What's up? What's up? Welcome back. In the building right now with our new show. What did you, you, you think of the intro? Yes. Who are we? We're, we're, we're the baddest podcast in the business right now. Agents of the nerdy. In the building. Agents. I like that. I love agents. I sound, I sound so cool. <laughs> I did you know, you- my day job, I'm a desk worker at night. I'm an agent. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So I'm I'm pretty excited. We we have not done a show in like three weeks. We've gone through this major I miss you guys. Yes. Like, like I feel empty. Are you okay? I feel empty now. I'm I'm all filled up and happy with joy. You should be good now. We're back on the air. Everything's gonna be groovy and spectacular. We got tons of stuff to talk about. We've got a new person to introduce. And as soon as they get back to the desk, we're going to bring them up. Um, Season three, kicking off today. Yes. Uh, so, probably first off, we have uh, done the whole show. New logo, new colors, new branding, all that stuff. And we have added a new co-host to our show. And it is great because he's here right now. So, let's add him in. The inevitably dope in the building. Woo! Welcome. Are you on mute? Man, I just ruined my whole intro. <laughs> wow. Now I look like an idiot with no sound just going like this. <laughs> Thank you, Kenya. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good, good. So awesome. uh, we're here. We're in the building right now. Yes, Look, sir. I got the new FSK hat on. Christina's got new highlights in her hair. And, I notice. And ID has a PS5. So, uh. Oh, yeah. hold on. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you know? We all are here. I didn't see that. <laughs> all awesome. Awesome. Yes, sir. So, let's, let's, let's play a little bit. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Let's, let's play a little catch up here. All right. So, Yo, what up, G? So our show originally started off as the good, the bad, and the nerdy. That started off with me and Katie May, um, who she's still a part of the show, but due to the quarantine situation and work and all that stuff, she has not had time to be on the show. She's trying to get things together, but as soon as she is freed up, she will be back. In the meantime, I need another co-host to come fill that void. Enter Christina. No, me. Christina yeah. in the building. And we were rocking that out for a while, um, doing good and having a lot of fun, melding and putting our geeky powers together. And then I came across this guy, this 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 voice actor supreme guy, and uh, got the crazy idea of adding him to the cast, adding him to the team. And, you know, I felt like, you know, we're doing this whole new cast thing. Let's just remodel the whole house. Just do it over. Let's do it over. Tear it down. Oh, we got people in the building on Twitch. We rocking it out hard on Twitch right now. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Get it in. Get it in. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's, let's introduce ourselves to the crowd. First time. They're just getting to know us. Uh, Christina, you go first. Let everybody know who you are. My name is Christina. Oh, fantastically. Apparently, I didn't know that's what you're calling me now. <laughs> I went off your Instagram. Apparently. <laughs> I didn't want to leave you without like a cool nickname. I was like, like we had all ours on there. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. That's fantastic because I am fantastic. All right. I like it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm Mike Watson. I am the uh, publisher of Short Fuse Media Group. I'm founder of Freestyle Comics. And uh, they call me Most Epic Art. I do a couple of different shows, including this one. And I'm, I'm, I'm the most enthusiastic person in comics. And if you've been watching the show, you know that already. Uh, ID, who are you? Ha! Man. You are the show. know who it be! <laughs> it's your boy, ID, man. AKA Inevitably Dope for those that don't, that don't know me. YouTuber, TikToker, Twitch streamer. You know what I mean? They call me the anime guru. They call me the fighting game god. You know what I mean? I just okay. have so many titles. I can't keep up anymore, Mike. You know? Mm. All right, all right, all right. Uh, behind the scenes, I've also got Dakota and Tessa with us. Uh, they're working in the backgrounds behind the scenes, and uh, they are kind of the executive producers of the show, help us to 
fly this ship nice and tight, come up with segments and things like that and work behind the scenes. So shout out to them. Hey. <clears throat> The people in the background don't ever get a respect. We got to give the people in the background respect. Here. We got to give them respect here. They came over here on time. My computer went out. They went back home and got their computer. They're here. They're ready to go. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, they're, sir. They're hard. I like it. I like it. All right. So we got. To, oh, oh, in the case, man, I told you we're not playing. So ID has t shirts. They're not dropping yet because he's not at a thousand yet. He's not at a thousand yet on Twitch. Uh, we got two of those shirts done. Yeah, I said two, so you haven't even seen the second one. Oh, they haven't even seen the second one, Mike. I haven't seen the second one. Christina hasn't even oh, seen the second one. She's on the podcast. Oh, we'll, we'll, fix that. we'll fix that. But <laughs> we do have a shirt to print today. We got the Agents of the Nerdy shirt available right now. Uh, normally 20 bucks. But it's thirteen dollars on sale right now. Let me show you that bad boy. Let me Ooh. show you that bad boy. Oh, out here, it's complete fire. <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh. look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. fire. Agents of the Nerdy Art. It's the team. I, you, Katie, May, myself, and Christina. Look at us. Now look, so look. Swaggy. Slash twenty dollars. It's thirteen right now for the next two days. Coffee so shirt. Swaggy. We got hoodies. We got kids' tees. Look at this. It's a we mask. Got, we got a mask. Oh, you got face masks. Yeah. Look at that. Rocking that. I be rocking that every day. For we real. Got playing, man. We got mugs. I'm probably going to get this one, though. The travel mug. Where we at? $11 for the travel oh, yeah. mug. Why not? Right. For real, Christina. You can't beat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got tons of stuff on here. I just put the link in the comments. Go holla at your boys. Check that out, boys and gals. All right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So let's 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 dive into it because we got tons to talk about, tons to talk about. All right, we got trailers coming up first, and we love trailers at Agents of the Nerdy. We think they are very fun. And before we dive into those bad boys, we're gonna get hot with the trailer reviews. All right, Ooh. all right. So first up on our trailer feast. Um, you guys have you guys watched the Zack Snyder new HBO trailer? What type of question is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for real. I'm just gonna ask that question, really. I'm, I'm, <laughs> um, I'm being socially polite. Oh, okay. Is that what, is that what you're calling it now? Yeah, we're just gonna ease into it for everybody today. We're just gonna talk about that, and also let's hear your opinions about it as well. The new Zack Snyder trailer for HBO Max Justice League. What what are your thoughts, Christina? Go first. Are we doing the whole spiel now? Yeah, I, I just figured we just talk about it this time. We're going to ease into it this week. What is there not to like about it? Like, oh. I, I don't like it. It's this is just different from what I'm used to because I'm not a big DC fan. I'm used to all the Marvel happy all the. I love the darkness of um, DC movies, especially the Zack Knight Zack's cut. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Um, what I'm excited about is. And I'm not happy of this character. I'm excited. It looks like uh, Iris is gonna be a part of this. Uh huh. Um, but it's the Flash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a scene. That's a scene they took out. Like they took out that whole thing. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. What do you think, ID? That well, I'm gonna just start from the beginning. Okay, so I got a <laughs> different opinion on it than Christina. Okay, okay. Christina, okay. I love you. I love you, Christina. But I hate DC movies. What? I hate them. I hate them. I like though. I prefer I Marvel. Them. Honestly, I'm I, not used to it. It's dark. I'm part of it. I, I love I love the heroes. Don't get me wrong. I just hate the way they've been doing these DC movies. And I'm I'm gonna watch the Zack Snyder Snyder edition for sure because I've heard that it has like I think two and a half hours of unseen footage. Um yeah. so I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna check that out. But I just I've been let down so many times with DC movies that it's just like, I'm at the point where it's just like abandon all hope. You know what I'm saying? Like you, ha I have to watch the movie and then judge before I see a trailer and get hype off the trailer. And then I go see the movie and I hate it. Like that's, that's just how I feel about it. Every movie I've seen from DC as of late has just been a letdown for me. Um, what was the last movie? Aquaman was pretty good. Aquaman was pretty good. 
But well, other than that, the yeah. is a little bit different than the rest of the DC. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for the most part, I'm uh, I'm not super excited for it. I I'm excited for it for completely different reasons. I want to see Zack Snyder's version of a movie. I feel like he got cheated. Uh, those of you that don't know, um, when he was originally filming the Justice League movie, this movie was supposed to be two films. It's supposed to be two films. And his daughter committed suicide, and he wasn't able to finish the film. And mm. instead of Warner Brothers and DC taking a pause on the film, they got somebody else in to finish it up. And uh, what's the name? He did the Avengers. Everybody hates him now. Uh, Josh Whedon. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he did the direction for it. And um, he changed like 70 to 80% of the film, man. <laughs> like 70 to 80% of the film, he changed it. So I just really want to see what Zack Snyder intended because I love what he did with Batman. I am a big fan of Man of Steel. I know a lot of people are not, but I love Man of Steel. Um, I think Zack Snyder had a pretty good plan. And if uh, the DC elite weren't hating on every decision he made and let it ride out, we would have got like a very good arc in the end. But so I just really want to see, like, I don't want to see Ben Affleck cracking jokes because that's not what Batman does. Batman right. cracks jokes like, once every 10 years, and then that's yeah. why the joke is fun. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I want Ben Affleck the way he was in the first movie, you um, know, mm -hmm. Batman Superman. Uh, I want to see Superman grow to be the Superman that we want because that's what was going to happen. He was going to be this this champion of light, this the defender of the world. But it it had to take time to get there, which I was with. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Um, so, and it's a comic book movie. I'm, I'm there. I want, I want to watch it. It's four hours, an hour a week. So I, I'm more there in support of Zack Snyder and seeing what he intended because it could still be trash. I, I am very well aware of that. It could yeah. still be trash. Yeah. I, I feel like Whistler, yeah. Whistler yeah. said it best. He said DC animation is better than the actual movies. And I agree 100. Yeah, I agree too. I agree. And like the thing that pissed me off, since we're on Zack Snyder and him talking about Justice League, the thing that pissed me off about Justice League was the Flash. Can we please talk about the Flash? I I can't even with the Flash. <laughs> I just want the Flash just so that we can get to um, Flashpoint. That's all I care about. Yes, yeah. That's all I want. When that happens, I'm okay. I yeah. see what happened. I hated the Flash. Praise Barry Allen irks me so much. Right, exactly. <laughs> Like, I, the way he ran, his, I wanted to fight him every time I saw him run. He was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not the only one. I, what is that? Like, I want the other Barry Allen, um, Gustin Grant. Yes. I yeah. Yeah. I want yeah. him. I want him. I don't care. So hey, Tessa, Tessa's first day, and she's, she's tripping, man. She put out here, Superman is trash. Oh. <laughs> the first day in the building. <laughs> Zach yeah. over there agreeing too. What up, everybody? What up, Zach? Fan, I see y'all. Um, I absolutely agree. Like, now I know you want to change some things up. You want to make some things different. But I think that's one of the things that just has to stay the same. Like, the Flash needs to run like a track star. He's yes. not a <laughs> Exactly, Christina. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> it just does not work for me. Um, they really wanted him to be Tom Holland. They really wanted him to be Flash is dope. What happened? Someone said Flash is dope. Oh, that's from Tessa. Tessa, yeah. we have some words. Tessa, you're fired. <laughs> Tessa, you're fired. <laughs> first day, <help. laughs> first, first day hired, first day fired. Get her out of here. <laughs> Danny, <laughs> editor in chief of Freestyle Comics in the building. Flash did <laughs> Uh, Flash didn't look like he was running, but moving through his feet was almost like swimming. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. one hundred percent, one hundred percent. It was disgusting, and I felt like his his um his uh his outfit was like super armory, like it was. It was. Really and I was like, fast like that, like it's yeah, <laughs> it should have been like a tracksuit, like yeah, exactly. Yeah, every, every so, time he ran, I wanted to fight him. So again, so I don't think everything that Zack Snyder's choices and stuff is perfect. 
Um, I think he really wanted to make a Batman movie. They really just should have gave that man a Batman movie and let him do that or whatnot. But like Aquaman, I loved Aquaman. I loved how Jason Momoa played him. Um, I do like Wonder Woman a lot. Um, Man of Steel is my favorite joint, but Cyborg, I really wasn't feeling. Flash, I really wasn't feeling. Um, I feel like Cyborg was probably the best like looking uh, Justice League member there as far as like, because I'm, I'm comparing him to like Teen Titans. So okay. Was, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like in comparison to that, I felt like he looked pretty good and sounded similar. And then he even hit us with a little booyah. You know what I'm saying? So no, I liked him as portrayal. I didn't like his look. I thought his uh, cybernetics were too skinny. But then by the end of the film, they buffed up his cybernetic look. Got you, got you, got you. Got you. Don't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you on that. Makes sense. Yo, yo. Shout out to everybody. We're getting a lot of comments and stuff like that. If you guys got questions, uh, please put them in there so we can interact with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So, what up, everybody? In the end of the day, are, are we all going to go watch Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max? Oh, yeah. 100%. All right. So our next trailer, which I'm about to put up here real quick. Let me see here. Let's uh stop sharing that screen. I'm a Verizon engineer. And Panda, ID side. I mean, uh, I said ID <laughs> cyborg. Teen Titan <laughs> cyborg definitely is better. I didn't say he wasn't better. I just said he was a good comparison to that cyborg. But Teen Titan cyborg definitely better. So we got ID. What do you think of this one? What's that? Uh, this is Breach with uh Bruce Willis. He's in space with aliens. I didn't even see this trailer. Oh <laughs> man! Well, I'll I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I feel. Uh, I feel like this is uh, Die Hard in space. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't even look like Bruce Willis is trying in this movie. Like I saw him, and I'm like, oh, you said Bruce Willis is just here for the check. He's just here for the check, <laughs> man. Like, I, 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 I was like, oh shoot, Bruce Willis. You know, he's really good at some stuff. I like Bruce Willis because he's like, he plays the every man. And then right. he started in this, I'm like, for real? For yeah. real? He's there. Just, just look pretty. It looks like a sci-fi release, though. What? I don't know what it is, but like, I don't think I, I don't think I could do another space alien movie with guns. Like, <laughs> look at gun flares. Did you see that? It didn't even look yeah, like man, I was I was just about to say something about that, Mike. That them gun flares look so great value. <laughs> I can't believe that. What the heck? I can't. I can't. Dude, Dude, I'm, gonna have that again. I'm sorry. That was hot trash. It looked like I edited this. In 2020, <laughs> gun flares should never look not real. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> no. I'm good. Yeah. Man. I wasted like a minute of my life watching that. What What did you think, Christina? I there's nothing good about it. I'll say that I wasted a good minute and a half of my life watching it. It was. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was like another alien movie with on a spaceship, and I'm gonna go kill it. I don't know. It's just every every generic movie uh, movie um, plot, like. Yikes! It was like a liquor from um, Resident Evil. So I was like, oh, what? The the liquors from Resident Evil, that's exactly what that thing looked like. From uh, like, Resident Evil 5? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Wait, Wait, here, that, here you go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does, it does, it does. I hated those things. Yeah, I couldn't stand them. So we got terrible gun flares. We got people shooting guns that don't look like they're shooting them. Bruce Willis is very lazy in this trailer. And they just ripped off a whole other franchise's monster design and called it an alien. <laughs> Bro, it's like, like when it gets when it gets put into one, like here, do something with that. Yeah, um, I feel I, like go when ahead. it gets to when it gets to this point, and like you got such elite actors like Bruce Willis, because like we said earlier, Bruce Willis is a great actor. But when you got him in a movie like this, like I just automatically think like you just need a check, bro. Like, you, there's no way you read this script and you were like, oh, this is actually really good. And you wanted to, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I need something to do. Hold up. This is it. Do you really think DC should have made Superman faster than The Flash and just the movie? 
because he already has super strength and flight. So why can't the Flash have his own thing? Um, I'm a I'm a I'm a truest when it comes to Superman and Flash about the Speed Force. Superman would get dusted every single time. Mm. Like, mm. like Flash should be so casual with Superman. Like if he's running next to him <laughs> and like just smoke him. Like Superman should not be able to keep up with Flash. So I, I the casualness of that I absolutely disagree with. <clears throat> Shut him my down, man, Mike. My man said, "What are those gun bullets? They look like freezer key blasts and deep." <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Dragon Ball> fighters. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm a pass on that flick. I don't. I don't know about the rest, y'all. Those were the probably. Those were by far the worst gun flashes I've ever seen. <laughs> Lots of things just like here, just stick it in there. <laughs> right. God. Here's our next trailer. Top oh, this I'm actually movie. this I'm actually excited for. Like, I love how it looks. Yeah, I'm actually excited about this. It gets folded by the bus. That's classic. Christina, you excited for this one? I have a love hate with this one. I am excited as Tom and Jerry, but I hate the mixture of the media. I, mm. I do. That's okay. me. Um, like I like I hate it, but I love it because there's not much. It's it's both. I love and I hate it at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it, but um, I kind of like the I kind of like that. Mo like they're starting to do this <laughs> movies, you know, like, like they gave us like Sonic. You know what I mean? They're doing this. I kind of like that they're bringing like classics that people like, you know what I mean? Us grew up on mm -hmm. and they're kind of like bringing them back and then putting them in like a what if they were in the real world type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I felt like it, like for some reason, I, I wish they kind of did like what they did Alvin the Chipmunks type of um, animation or CGI stuff like that. I wish yeah. they did. I think I, I might have liked it more because it still kept the facial expression and everything. But it's just I, I it's just something that bothers me. Right. I, I am more of a fan of this look than the CGI, like trying to make them look like a real cat and mouse. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. One no, that would have probably been creepy. But uh, I, I like the feel of it, and um, I love the antics. I, I think I am going to take my kids to go see it. For sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this but, is a good movie to bring your kids to. If you have kids, this is this is a good movie to bring them to. But I, I also wasn't a fan of the album and Chipmunks. They got on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, I did love them. But question, I got a question for y'all. How does Jerry make those perfect mouse holes with the doors? Like, I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see the question. I just don't understand. <clears throat> I just don't understand how Tom could get folded this many times and still think he has a chance. <laughs> Like, if I was getting my ass beat this much, I'd just be like, bro, I'm done. He has nine lives. He's trying. <laughs> Tessa says he's a carpenter by trade. <laughs> oh, that's right. See, that's why I like it, because it has a Roger Rabbit feel. And I like the fact yeah. that all the animals are animated. Not just them. All the animals are animated. Yeah, yeah. This is like a Roger Rabbit, like a Space Jam. <laughs> Like it, it gives me those type of vibes, like just yeah. those nostalgic vibes for sure. Now, and if you bring that up, are y'all gonna go check out that Space Jam too when it comes out? With LeBron? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna say no? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm upset. I'm upset it's not Jordan. I'm upset it's not Jordan, but you know, I'm gonna still go check it out. You gotta support the Space Jam too. All right, all right. Batman, Soul of the Dragon. I'm not gonna say I'm excited, but I'm not like, I'm. I'm not saying that I'm like I don't want to see it because there's bat. Like I said, DC animated movies are fire. DC animated movies are are, are nine times out of ten they're fire. So I'm not gonna sleep on it, but I'm not like super hyped for it either. I'm I'm not super hyped. I'm not hyped for it at all. I don't need mm. Batman enters the dragon. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this was a waste. And Batman has too many damn animated movies to begin with. We could have did anybody else. I feel like they're going a weird weird route with Batman as of late because they have this drop in, and then he had a he had a previous movie where he was in like a he was a samurai like in feudal Japan. You seen that? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, that was weird too. Like I was just like, "What the?" Robin had like a bald head with a little patch of hair. I was like, "Hello." The what? Yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. Not a fan. What did you think of that trailer, Christina? I didn't get to see that trailer. I think I missed that one. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here, man. We are stacked tonight. Thanks to everybody tuning in. <clears throat> sir, yes, sir. Shout out to everybody. That they hyped as hell for that trailer. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm not hyped for it, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not going completely disown it either because it could. It could be fire. DC animation movies are fire. So. Well, if I, if I saw it, it would only be because of Bruce Timm is the director for it. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. All right, let's see. All right, we got the Zack Snyder. All right, so I'm actually really excited about this. This is our last trailer. I don't know if you guys got a chance to look at this one, but apparently this movie's been done for a while. Um, let's see here. I hate commercials, but they're pretty good. <laughs> Chaos Walking. And I thought, Christina, this was right up your alley. I, don't know, I know nothing about it. You don't besides, based off, besides from the trailer, I knew it was based off of a book, and that was it. Yeah, I knew nothing about this, but I thought this trailer was really cool. I like the aesthetic of the world. Uh, I'm very curious to know what happened to all the women. And, Me too. And, like, you can see everybody's thoughts in this world. I think it's men that you see thoughts. It's only men, I yeah, believe. Yeah, men, yeah. But I love the concept of being able to see other other people's noise and, and thoughts. And I, I, I like how they did it too. I like the effect for it. But I'm also very happy that Ray is getting more work because she needs to get work. Mm. Don't, don't shun Ray just because half of y'all hated Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't get a chance to see this trailer, but it does look super interesting. Yeah, so um, it, this is actually, so it's based off the first book. There's three book, books in this story, so this is probably going to be a trilogy, depending on how successful it is at the theaters or whatnot. But I love the look and feel of it. I'm very much so interested in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. I got to say, man, Tom Holland is killing it, bro. He, oh, he, I, love seeing outside, I love seeing his work that's outside of Superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The, um, the one on Netflix with the uh, Robert Pattinson, whoever that was, that was amazing. That was good. That was a really good movie. Mm-hmm. He's he snapped. Oh, yes, that one. Yeah, and this one has al apparently some aliens wiped out half this world, and these aliens look legit. Like, I'd be running. I'm not. I'm not trying to fist back. <laughs> You're not trying to run the hands with an alien, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. You want to? I'm good. I would try it. Nah. <laughs> okay, you do that first. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Christina, we gotta jump them. You're not trying to run the hands with me. Uh, I mean, I'll, 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 be, I'll be. I'll be. I was like Daisy. I'm the last lady standing. <laughs> Man, let me tell y'all, if I'm fighting an alien and I look behind me expecting Mike and Christina to be backing me up and you guys are gone, oh, that's no. believe. That's no. believe I'm going to be pissed off. I'm not going to leave you, I'm not gonna leave you high and drunk. But if I'm solo in the woods by myself and there's no audience, we about to see my track star beats. <laughs> Barto. Uh, looks like somebody asked about Barto. Somebody asked about what? Barto. I'm trying to find the question. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the original creator of Naruto coming back to write? Yes. Now? That's I, I literally posted on Twitter. I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna start watching Boruto now because the original the original uh creator of Naruto is getting back into it or getting into it, taking over. But um, I did hear the manga was uh, was getting insane, was getting really crazy. Yeah, but, it looks like uh, Naruto's gonna die. Yeah, he he went into some form with Kurama that I guess he can't come back from if he uses it. So he's like, whatever, I gotta do what I gotta do, I guess. But um, the manga's getting crazy. But as far as the anime goes, that thing is hot noodle water. Oh, okay, he's asked, what did I think about that new Barato chapter? Um, I saw it. I didn't get to read it. Like, I saw somebody highlight it or whatnot. Um, I'm not going to be able to read that until, like, two or three of the chapters are out because that, that 15, 16 page joint be killing me. I got to read, like, segments of it in whole. Because um, from, from what I saw, 
nothing really happened in that chapter, and it's just a build up for what's going to happen. Right. Um, I've got to get like two or three chapters in the hole and read like three of them in a row. So we'll see. I hear you. Hey, black guy, I see you, my guy. You said you're going to help me fold that alien. Hey, I appreciate the support. Bro. <laughs> appreciate the support, black guy. Shout out to the homie, black guy. <laughs> oh, good point, Matthew says. Do you think he came back to write Naruto's death scene? Ooh. Ooh. That makes nice. sense. Bro, I don't know how I feel about Naruto dying, bro. I'm for it. You are? I'm for it. I want the tears. I want the smoke. <laughs> you just want to get hurt. Yeah, I want to get hurt. He wants to cry. <laughs> you want to find reason. That's what it is. I I'm love with that. Naruto. I'm and, not with that. But we've got to see his whole journey, man. Bro, but he just became Hokage and then he going to die? He doesn't have to die. For real, what is he? His dad? He's just following the same footsteps as his dad. No <laughs> like, ways to get to the end, Mike. I, I feel like I want to experience it because I've, I've read the original Naruto story, all seven hundred and eleven issues. Yeah. So when we get to the part where Naruto gets celebrated by the village, that's like four hundred issues in. Do you know how frustrating it is for that village to hate that boy for 400 issues? <laughs> but then to finally acknowledge him as the hero he is, I, I shed it a couple tears, man. It was, a, it was a powerful moment. So It was. If Naruto goes out like on top like a G, like full final mode, I'm here to save my son, I'm, I'm good with it. I get, you from a, I get you from a writer's stance. Yeah. From a story stance, I totally agree. As an audience, exactly, exactly, Christina. But as an audience, I'm not ready for that. My chest can't take it. <laughs> Somebody said I can't agree. We need at least some more time. <laughs> for real. I mean, I, it's, it it hurts, but you know. So I make comic books, and that's what I'm trying to get. Everybody not wanting Naruto to die, not wanting to feel that pain. That means that these creators have done their damn job. They made you. You're care right. About yeah. That you don't want to take that L. Yeah, exactly. When Neji took that L, Neji that was a jerk. When he took that L, I was like, it's back. <laughs> For real, man. That's the thing that Naruto is really good at. When a character dies, like when, yeah, like Matthew said, it's Jiraiya all over again. Like when a Neji dies or when Jiraiya dies, it's like you immediately see everything that character went through and it just hits you like a truck. Because it's not like Dragon Ball where, you know, you can just get wished back. You know what I'm saying? When a character is gone, they are gone. Yeah. So it's like, damn, bro. It hurt. Yeah. So, all right. So those were our trailers. Um, so... I want to ask you. I'm gonna play these two clip. This clip, and I want to. I want to see if you know what I'm talking about. There's only. There's. There's something. There's something I'm experiencing right now in my geek life that makes me feel like this. What is it, IG? What is it? That's my girl Mikasa going crazy. Right, but what are you playing right now in your life that makes you feel like that? What am I playing? Oh, Spider Man! Come on now. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that Miles. Let's, gotta, let's go. I like that segue. We we've got to have you know we got to be cautious of spoilers. Some people have just now gotten the game. Dakota has not even cracked open his download yet. What? All right, yo, Dakota. So let me tell you at the end, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh spider-man for playstation 4 i it was the best superhero game of the year i've never played a game that made me feel like a superhero yet alone spider-man to this degree ever yeah. it was fantastic yeah. then you crack open your boy miles morales talk about it mike hey hey your boy oh, miles has got so much swag he's got so much style like me and my brother were watching it and we're like we love Peter Parker. Like, I love Peter. Let yeah. me tell you that. My son's name is Miles Parker Watson. All right? <laughs> he's the man, he's the OG. But right now, 
right now it's Miles' top. He's still sure. He's here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Kelton said ID is Miles. <laughs> oh, boy. The web sling is fantastic. Like, I didn't think they can get the web slinging any better. But, like, Miles, Mar- they, they've made Miles so different from the way he moves, from the way Peter moves. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what do you think about his movements and stuff? Because he's got a ton of moves. Okay. Let me go ahead and say this. The last stream I did yesterday, I was playing Miles. I literally spent about 40 minutes learning his his trick moves, his air trick moves. You know what I'm saying? Because he has it in his skills. He can perform tricks while he's swinging. You know what I mean? To make him look more stylish. I literally spent 40 minutes just running up buildings and just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to land and perform these trick moves, man, that were so freaking dope. He, he, he can literally jump off a building Go back and be on his phone texting while he's falling super no, fast. No, I didn't know you could do that. Yes. Yes, bro. And I was freaking – ask my – yo, the chat was going nuts. The chat was just like, yo, what the – you can text on your phone. He can pose like this like he's sleeping as he's falling. You can do so much as far as tricks goes in that game. Like, it just makes Miles so much more swaggier. Than Peter, and that's so crazy to say <laughs> because Peter's swaggy. But yeah, I get, I guess that's what happens, you know, when you're a black superhero. <laughs> I was, I was talking, telling my brother, like, <clears throat> excuse me, Peter is a vet, so he already knows what work. He's got a certain way he moves. He's grown to that. But my right. is a young kid who's out here, like, I got spider powers, y'all. Yeah. So he's trying to flex in everything he does. Like he's just out there having a good time, which which is why he has so many moves. I, I just it's really dude. dope. It's, it's really dope. Christina, have you played that gamer at all or no? So I'm Christina. not much of a, I'm not much of a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just did this album. <laughs> as soon as I saw you go like this, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what? I might get this up by the time. Peter is also a scientist and he's more of a left brain. So Miles is way more fluid because he's a creative right side. That mm. is that one of our background uh producers in the back? Yes. <laughs> See, see, that was that was a great way of putting that for real. That, that was that an was. exceptional way of putting that. That was a really good way of putting that. Um, I, I'm sure on a later show we're really going to deep dive into it. But want to give everybody a chance to play it. Don't want to spoil it, but for sure. I, I will for tell sure. you this: uh, it's fantastic. It uh, it is just as good, if not better, than the Spider-Man game. One hundred percent. It's got a couple of negative features uh, in it or whatnot, but. Nothing that would really take your enjoyment away from playing. Exactly, and like like you just said, like the story the story is absolutely amazing. There's a lot of things that'll catch you off guard, you won't expect. Um, my only complaint was that the story could have been longer. It was yeah. really really short. Like if you really wanted to, you could probably beat that in one solid sitting and like mm-hmm. five solid six hours. So that's my only complaint is this length of the story. But as far as the storytelling went. Throughout that length, it was amazing. Yeah, um, I'm a bit advocate for it. I'm a bit av- oh, they want you to hold up the PS5 ID. They want you know, what? They want flex that, thing, that thing back there, the plastic you got back there. Oh, you talking about this thing right here? My, you talking about my router? Uh, yeah, 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 no, I'm talking about your like, uh, people waiting right there. Fancy. Oh, t- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they want me to hold it? Okay, hold on. Let me shut it off real quick because I don't want it to explode when I pick it up or something. All right. <laughs> Let me shut it off real quick. But hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Look you know, how big I got one of those Ha! <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Let me get a little closer. Let me get a little closer. Let me unplug it real quick. You know, you know, I gotta show this off. Whoever said that in the comments shouldn't have just said that. They shouldn't have said that. Now the rest of our show is <laughs> look at this. <laughs> exactly. That's our chosen guys. All right, guys, take a look yeah. at this luscious, extravagant work of art here. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Wow. 
I'm not gonna lie. One thing about this console is this junk is super big. Like it's tall. It is really tall. What? When it comes to load times, non-existent. 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 Non-exist. I was playing Miles Morales on here, and I didn't even remember what. I didn't even remember a time where the screen went black because it was loading. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's it's like that. It's crazy. Now that that is a true benefit, and I was uh, again, I, I had an actual pretty long conversation with my brother, and I, I just realized something that did piss me off about PlayStation. What? And, um, oh shoot! So is that the only one I'm getting though? So y'all ate all the rest of them? No, there is a lot. Of okay, thank you. My daughter brought me down one White Castle burger. Like here you go, Dad. <laughs> Did you dirty? <laughs> chat, you feel me, chat? You know I gotta talk my junk, Gabriel. You, I gotta talk my trash, bro. Sour Patch, I gotta talk my trash. So I was upset at the PlayStation advertising, and it was uh, they've been putting out the PlayStation Five commercial saying, "Look at the power of the PS Five. This is what we can do with PS Five. Uh, so it shows you the photo mode, and in photo mode, you can do these, uh, you can do three different lights." Of different colors to really amp up your pictures to make these joints look really professional. It's almost like you're doing Photoshop now in photo mm. mode. Um, and then like you can emote the face, you can emote the eyes in Miles' mask, or when Miles isn't in this mask, you can do different facial expressions on Miles. And I was like, dope. Okay, that's a nice little feature for the PS5. Right. And they they showed a scene where you jump into a building, beat up some thugs, and you instantly jump out that building. No load time. I was like, I don't want a PS5, but that is fucking tasty. That is fucking real tasty. <laughs> and so I'm at home, you know, playing on the PS4 with my son. And I'm like, man, let me look at this photo mode, man. Let me see what features it does have. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, and to my surprise, there's the three lights. I'm like, all right, let me see if I, I can emote his face. Then we get to Miles. I am moving Miles' face. He's making all these different facial expressions and all this stuff. And I'm like, but I thought this was a PS5. It was PS5. And I mm-hmm. jumped in the building and jumped right out the window. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, that's and hilarious. And then PlayStation literally put out a tweet that said, oh, yeah, Miles is great on PS4, too. I know we're talking about PS5 a lot, but it's good on there, too. <laughs> I am weak. They say there are no limits with the PS5, but there's a major limit with the stock. <laughs> I saw Tainted said, ID, where's my white binder and my PS2? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, nah. I, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm oh, enjoying it. Awesome. Sure. All right. Uh, so we got another section that we're about to hit right here. Uh, and it's, uh, we're just going to stream through our Facebook post real quick and see what we got popping in. Our Facebook group stories. So, Christina, I'm, I'm going to hit you up first. All right. What do you think about Johnny Depp losing his job, uh, even though evidence has come to light that Amber Heard was the abuser and she's still employed? Do you that's the only woman on here, really. <laughs> say something I don't like, Christina. Say something. Tess is here too, and she wants me to do this. Because <laughs> Tess is <laughs> mad. <laughs> Yo, black guy is gonna love that. <laughs> I I'm not a biggest fan of that Fantastic Beast. But I I did like him as uh, Grindelwald or um, his character's name is Grindelwald. It's right. Yeah, Grindelwald. Like I think they they, they they're trying to save save ass. That's what they're trying to do. That's all they're trying try to be ahead of it. Mm-hmm. They could just kept him on there, but they want to be um, they want to be PC about it, and they're like, oh, we'll be safe and we'll just take him out. See. And I, I think that's mess. I think it's so messy. I think these these um networks and all these studios are trying to get ahead of the game, but they're they're not thinking. They're just trying to get ahead of the game just in case. Which I understand a business standpoint, but as story wise, where where he's not affecting the story, or affecting now, 
I think it's a bad move. Because I don't see anyone else playing him besides him. Yeah, I got so excited when his face was revealed and it was Johnny Depp. I was like, Johnny Depp is playing Grindelwald? And he's going to fight my man Dumbledore in the third movie? Like, clap back! Clap back! <laughs> like, I was so excited to see that. And then, you know, when evidence actually comes to the surface that shows he was not the abuser. He was the abusing. He was the one getting attacked. That's the part that gets me, bro. Like, what? Like, I'm completely lost at that. Why is he continuing to suffer? But she's still being cast in, in Aquaman 2 and she brings up to the table. Mm-hmm. And as with a hater, because like, she's a woman, I and I hate that. I hate that could be a possible reason why in an earth scene. Oh, Tansy, that is right before Vegeta gets voted. He gets about seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on. I'm dying. Isn't that right before Vegeta gets voted? <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna say. I feel like I my my opinions on certain things differ from you two a that's lot. Fine. But that's, that's exactly that that's what makes this yeah, that's what makes this podcast so dope because I'm honestly not a huge Johnny Depp fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never been huge on like the Pirates of the Caribbean, Edward Scissorhands. You know what I'm saying? I've never been crazy about Johnny Depp, but that whole situation is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Daniel, what's your opinion? Everybody's opinion is respected, man. If you got something to say, say it. I mean, I can't dislike you because of your opinion. It's, it's- <laughs> but I see no. It's for good. <laughs> but, so that's funny that you say that because uh, I think I only really like Johnny Depp because of Jack Sparrow. Mm. I feel less really about the other movie. I absolutely love Jack Sparrow. And the fact that Johnny Depp came on to Pirates of the Caribbean mm-hmm. and stole the role from Legolas. That was supposed to be Legolas' movie. Oh, and really? Yeah. And I have Legolas. I'm terrible with names. But that was supposed to be his franchise. Johnny Depp was just a co-star, a side character. But people responded to him so well, the studio gave him the franchise. Damn. Oh, wow. that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That's messed up. That's kind of like um, that's kind of like that whole situation with uh Will Smith and Keanu Reeves, because Will Smith was, I guess, initially supposed to play the role in The Matrix as Neo, and he passed on it, and Keanu Reeves got the role in it. You know, the whole thing <laughs> blew up. So I know Will Smith was like, "Damn!" Oh no, he talked about it. Will Smith said, has talked about it on his social media. Oh yeah, yeah. He just thought the movie just did not sound good, man. He he thought he could be bigger in um, Wild Wild West. Uh, well, that's, that's yeah, cool. that's like, <laughs> hey, Jada ain't passed it up <laughs> <laughs> for real. She was like, "Nah, nah I'm here, here for it all day." So, uh, right. next topic. So, your boy, The Rock, he's unstoppable. He's unstoppable, man. He's gone back to one of his first movie franchises and said, I need y'all to stop making these janky-ass movie versions of Scorpion <laughs> King. I'm going to reboot it because I'm The Rock. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't know. If, uh, I mean, it only makes sense that he stars in it. Uh, but they definitely said he's he's going to be a producer on it. He's redoing The Scorpion King. Does that reinvigorate or re-enlighten any excitement to see this? No. Christina, you first. No. <laughs> No, she said no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I, even when Scorpion King was out, and I, I don't, I'm not even going to say it was popular. I never heard really anybody saying, yo, you saw the new movie Scorpion King? Like, I never heard that. So, <laughs> I, I really, I really, I really huh? he's not going to be, he's not going to be on it because he can't because he's stuck filming uh, Hob and Shaw. So, it's okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, too bad. <laughs> too bad. Yikes! Well, I, I think uh, the Scorpion King missed the opportunity for that role because for that role to be something big for The Rock, because um, he was he was a, a character in the Mummy in the Mummy movie, and he came in at the end of it as like the 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 the, the pre boss villain. 
And instead of putting the rock in the, the role as the Scorpion King and giving him some, um, you know, doing some, I forgot what it's called, prosthetics and stuff like that for the special effects, to some degree, they completely CGI'd the whole thing and it looked it looked sh- shitty. It just didn't look good. So the flail was gone. Like all the all the love and, and the point for it got wheezed out in that moment when they did that. Right. Yeah. And then uh they tried to kick it back with the prequel in the second one. And you're like, Well, yeah, I love The Rock. The Rock's an awesome dude, but we this is this is it's done. <laughs> Or, I'm agree with Tessa. Like, I'm, I'm a bit tired of remakes and stuff. I am tired of that too. No, nah, I hear that. Like, I, hear, I hear that. But you know, they call they call Rock the Viagra of Hollywood. So <laughs> he can. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. That's why he's in so many sequels. That's why he's like a movie. I have a part one. Mike, you sure you ain't make that name up yourself, bro? I swear I did. I swear I did. Who on here has heard that? <laughs> hey, somebody back me up. On you, on the chat. Somebody like, back me up. Somebody back me up. I have never heard that in my life. I'm never- <laughs> Christina, he's on his own. <laughs> I am not on my house. There's 31 people watching us. Somebody else is on <laughs> You know when you say somebody back me up, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yo, somebody said that, right? Yo, yo, you heard that, right? I'm a senior laughing because you never heard of it either. <laughs> I'm a positive jam, article jam. Oh, man. That is hilarious. All right, so I know Christina will be excited about this because we're big MCU fans. And apparently you are too, ID. But it's official. Star-Lord is going to be in 4-4. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not mad at that at all. Christina, you want to go ahead and go first? Let's see. Hold on a sec. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. I'll be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Why? Maybe because I don't like Chris Pratt. Maybe because I still like Chris Pratt. Okay, that's what? I like Chris Pratt. That's it. I just like Chris Pratt and my face towards Chris Pratt translate over to Star Lord. I'm sorry. I'm uh-huh. not so sorry. you didn't like him in both the Guardians movies? I'm sorry, but not sorry. Okay. No. Ha. <laughs> They've seen the Guardians one time each. That's it. Dang. I have to see it. That's fine. I, I will accept that because if you would have said because he blew everything in, in Infinity War and cost them to lose. I have a whole deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did piss me off when he did that, though. I was like, yo, you better not punch Thanos, bro. <laughs> and guess what he did? But um, I'm not, I'm I'm actually excited to hear that news because I actually enjoyed Chris Pratt as Star Lord in the previous uh two Guardians movies. And he uh, which one was it? Ragnarok? That he no, it was Guardians Two that Thor was in, right? Which one was he in? They no, were in a movie. They were in Infinity War together. That's when they first. Met. Oh, Infinity War. Okay, okay. Well, in Infinity War, they had they they meshed together really well. You know what I'm saying? They were always always they were always trying to one up each other. You know what I'm saying? So it led to constant jokes between those two guys. So I think with him being in Thor Four, I think that's just gonna lead to more jokes and more entertainment for us. So. I yeah. think it'll be funny. I like Thor, the way they portrayed Thor in the MCU movies, like he started to become like, he started gradually becoming funny. You know what I mean? He came off as serious. And then I forgot what Captain America movie or maybe an Avengers movie. Um, He started to get funny because I remember that scene where Captain, everybody was trying to lift up Thor's hammer. Yeah. And he was oh, like, oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. And Cap lifted it a little bit. And he was like, wait, what? Like that's when he started getting funny. And then when he got in, you know what I'm saying? When he got with Star Lord, he just took off. It was hilarious. And then Ragnarok was completely hilarious. So oh, I, love I it. think it's gonna be good. I, yeah. I love it because it just means more crossovers. And I um and the more that they cross over other characters and other films, I think it's just gonna make the movies that much better. And yeah. they're not running away from it or trying to find excuses why not. It's like who can we put together in these movies and make them great? Because Hulk and Thor and Ragnarok, they were gold. They were gold together. Yeah. 
Um, I can't wait for it. Um, and I was just talking earlier today, just like, dude, they're already filming Miss Marvel, the TV show. I really think oh, yeah. MCU oh. this whole time during the pandemic have been filming all types of stuff that we don't know. And they've just been keep, keeping it quiet because it's quarantine. Right. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. Mm. I'm looking forward to that. Um, to the uh, Winter Soldier, the Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier show, and uh, um, Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward Falcon, to that. Soldier, yeah. I'm yeah. Looking I'm looking forward, forward to, that. to that. I'm looking forward to WandaVision, She Hulk, mm-hmm. uh, Moon Knight. I'm looking forward to all of them. Like, so. yeah. I'm just yeah. disappointed that WandaVision is not coming at the end of this year. That was it. That's pretty heartbroken. That what? That they're not coming out this, this year in, at the end of the year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to drop this month. I was really looking forward to it. But yeah. it is what it is. And 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 I and when, when you have a studio that has so many hits, the way MCU does, when they say they push something back, you're like, take your time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you respect it. You respect yeah. it because you know with more time, it's just going to be even that much more heat. So. Because I think what they're doing... Okay, thank you. Um, Because I think what they're doing, it is uh, they had to restructure the order of their films and the way the TV shows were going to drop to be able to make their stories work, which whatever you got to do to keep giving me this awesome content, I'm I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah. 100% agree. Um, So I'm going to, we're coming up on on an hour. um, So I'm going to get into our last, uh, we got two more things I want to talk about before it goes out tonight. And um, this one, uh, <laughs> uh, it, 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 have you ever just come across something and it just pissed you off? And you just made you so mad. And, you know, you wish there was something you could do about it. Well, Hell yeah. this is how I feel in those moments. I, I hope I hope you uh, feel me on this. <laughs> what? I'm super mad. Um, what I you hate, mad about, Mike? I hate scalpers. I hate bots. And I hate scalpers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look, I, I didn't, it didn't bother me at first because I, I started my MCU collection. I started getting my toys again, and I got all the MCU characters from Marvel. But like, they're expensive as hell, and they always sell out. Because the toy vendors, the guys that buy toys for their comic shops and stuff, they would go to Target and Walmart and buy the whole alleyway. Just buy all of them. And then sell the toys for like 60, 70, hundreds of dollars. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I'm a dad with four kids. I can't be spending no $200 on no damn action figure. Talk about it, Mike. So I've got to find the cheap old dad way. So I'm in I'm on eBay. I'm in, I'm in chats. I'm looking for $20 figures, single figures. And I get my collection. So I'm like, it's all right. I enjoy the hunt. Now, if I was interested in getting the PS4, five, if I was, my anger you want it. on the roof. He you doesn't know, look at that. You they don't want the one. The <laughs> Christina, he wants these it. systems have sold out in mere seconds on websites and are now being sold on eBay for $2,000. On one, on one eBay site, it was $32,000. For a PlayStation. They're selling it for how much? They're selling it for how much? I can get a car car with that. Are they making these sales? People buying it? I don't know if someone's bought one off of eBay for $32,000. They have not bought that one yet since the last time I checked. You want to sell yours? I'm about to go on eBay, Christina. I'm about to go on eBay, Christina. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) The average price for a PlayStation right now is $1,200. There was a video of a dude who had 20 PS5s and 20 Xbox Xs in his car. Oh no, nah, that's so that's crazy. That's crazy. One dude on Facebook, um, the, the uh, marketplace is like 1,200. No negotiations. 
<laughs> no negotiation. <laughs> it like, sounded like a demon. It's like it's 2020. There's got to be a way for these websites and stores to monitor that, to to lock out bots. Like there needs to be a limit on the household. How the hell is somebody buying ten PS fives for one household? But at the end of the day, the stores don't care because they're they're, they're making getting- money. That's insane. That's insane. Thousand dollars. I'm calling that. Right. You spending you if you spending thirty two hundred dollars on a PS five, you are bugging. My dude said that's more than my car. <laughs> For real. Mine too. Whoever said that. That is crazy. Yo, oh, just he said it. he went off up in his kids for the PS4 with a white card would take the size of 12. <laughs> That's terrible. Have you have you guys seen that video that kind of it's been trending lately of a guy who went on Wish <laughs> and bought a PS5 and he got it and it was literally the PS4 box. The person printed a sticker of the PS5 logo, slapped it on the PS4 box, and then he. Who goes on Wish and buys that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was like you—you you did that to yourself. And then he opened it up, and it obviously wasn't a PS5. It was something called a Umu or a Mu. Umu, something like that. It looked like a great value, like we, like a classic we. No, it was some some foreign junk called a uru or something like that, and I was like, "What the freak is that?" And he threw it on the floor. I was just like, "You did that to yourself." You know, you know no one buys, no one goes on wish and buys stuff exactly. that you worth anything. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's terrible. That's terrible. That it's, it's just infuriating. And then those uh, those ugly ass Adidas that Miles has in the game. Those- <laughs> They went live yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh they did? Yeah. And, and somebody put in a comment on the thread, I hit refresh at 9.59, and at 10 o'clock, the shoes were sold out. And then on eBay for $150. The shoes are $90. Damn. You know people will be buying $400. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the world we live in, man. Just because they saw it in the game, you know what I'm saying? People will pay some crazy prices to have it. And I guarantee you that $150 is gonna sell. Oh, I'm sure it will. And whoever buys it, you know, I shame on you for buying an ugly ass shoe when Miles should be wearing retro one Jordans. So uh yeah, yeah. You know, them, them plain yeah. ass Adidas. <laughs> I'm really upset that they didn't put the Jordans in. I'm, I'm sure it's because they couldn't get a deal or something, obviously, with Jordan. But he should have most definitely had the retro ones on, for sure. All right. You and me in that same boat. I really wanted to web fling with some retros on, man. Yeah, that would have been fire. Complete. Complete. Yeah. That's all I'm mad about. Y'all mad about anything y'all want to vent to? Christina, you got anything you want to you vent about? I got something I want to vent about, but it's 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 been some time, but I'm still mad. How about you? I got nothing to vent about. I'm good. I'm, I'm good this week. All right, let me tell you guys something. So you guys know I am a gamer, right? You guys uh-huh. know this, right? Fighting game god here. <laughs> I got to talk about Super Smash Brothers, bro. Now, if anybody oh, knows, know what you about to say? If anybody knows me, bro, we saw that Minecraft reveal, right? He's already in the game at this point. Why the hell is he in the game is what I want to know. Nobody wanted him, bro. Why? I did not want a Minecraft character in Super Smash. I didn't. That, that was probably the most... I get it from a business perspective. It was genius from a business perspective. But as a fan favorite, hell no. Hey, we to piss me off. <laughs> Why is this channel not affiliate yet? Yo, for real, taint it. Hey, I knew you were going to say that. When you said, I'm mad, but it's from a while ago. <laughs> Dude, you were so pissed. Everybody was, though. That junk pissed me. As soon as I saw his dusty bricks come into the screen, I was like, oh, my God, bro. No, no, not no. It can't be. Pissed me off, dude. 
I haven't played Smash since. I don't even remember the last time I played that game, bro. He's that mad about it. I'm that mad. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna come back to that game, but they need to freaking delete Steve and put it. They need to Thanos Steve out of there and put a whole new character in, bro. They need to replace. There's so many characters to choose from. I can't stand Minecraft, and I was like, I don't even play Smash, and I was just like, that's a bad move. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Like I said, I get it from a business standpoint because Minecraft, for some reason, is like a really well sold game, if not the most sold game. So I get it from a business standpoint because you want those people to come from that game to your game. You know what I mean? Because that character that you love is in there. But it's just like, man, he is not a fighter. What are we doing? Can someone also tell me what the fuck like? Like, what's the purpose of Minecraft? My little niece is playing that all day long. Bro, well, I, bro. It started off as a game. Yeah. That is them too. Because they wanted a game where kids could build stuff. Like, you can just – and that part was cool that – like if you really were good at the game and knew how the mechanics work, you can really build some really cool things in the game. It's it's a digital Lego. Then they ended up coming out with an adventure version of it or whatnot. But I just look, I got a damn PS4 and I got a switch. I'm not going back to no eight bit blocks. That's just not <laughs> I'm not going backwards. I can't. Like I remember when Final Fantasy VII came out for the uh PS4. I was like, oh shoot. I'm going to play this because everybody says it's the greatest game of all time. I'm just going to throw it in there. I played that thing for five minutes and I took it out the system. I, said, <laughs> I, I can't go backwards. Yeah, no, nah, I, I hear you on that, man. I hear you on that 100%. Man. <laughs> mm. Tainan said they should have put Sora from Kingdom Hearts in there. Bro, For that would have been good. Yeah. Sora from Kingdom Hearts would have been amazing in Smash. Oh, my God. That's yeah. perfect. See, yeah. I, hate when, I hate when I hate when game companies or anybody for that instance misses the opportunity like that. Man, I hate that. Like, and you can't t- and you can't tell me you can't get Sora in there because you got Cloud in there. You exactly. know what I mean? So I, I can't. I can't. Nah, you can't give me that as an excuse, man. Right, right, right. All right, all right, all right, man. I'm having a blast with y'all. We, we about to get to our main event here, and here we go. Main event, everybody. We all watched a little movie off of Netflix called Jingle Jangle this week. And um, I watched it with my girls and my son and my wife. And uh, I'm going to be very upfront and, and blunt with everybody here. Damn, it feels good to see black people in a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It had to be said. We ain't got one. And now we do. And besides that, it's actually good. I'm not just liking it because it's black people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, hold on. I'm different. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. I'm different. I I like I like the fact that it was black people in a Christmas movie. I love that. But I hated the movie. Oh! Thank you. Oh my God! I did not. I did not like it at all. At all. I Why hated not? it. Why did you like it? It was just so like boring. Like nothing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was cheesy. Yeah, it was I cringy. Like, like cheesy movie, but it's like you almost tried too hard, and I couldn't. I, I wanted to like it. I did. I liked the fact that it's a Christmas musical. I'm so in for it, but I was like trying too hard. Yes. Too cheesy. And they didn't really make sense. <laughs> exactly. I was watching the movie and I was just like, like I'm not gonna lie. I checked the timestamp at least three times to see how close I was to the movie to be finished. I'm not gonna lie. The little thing in the beginning, I'm like um, dancing. Yeah, yeah. Like, little blue thing. Yeah. Like, what does he have to do? He's like, oh, is that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Chris- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dinas, talk your shit. <laughs> as soon as I said I hated it, Christina was like, "Yes." <laughs> she was about to lie and be like, "I liked it." Anyways, <laughs> I have no filter. 
okay. <laughs> it's perfectly fine, man. Um, I'm not even gonna make any excuses. I enjoyed the damn flick. I watched the since November has crossed the border. My wife had me watching a damn holiday movie every day in November. If it's not on Netflix, it's on damn Hallmark. Now, the Hallmark is on Amazon Prime. So, and they are all amazingly corny and super fake. So I got the jingle jangle and I saw Claire Huxtable and I was happy as hell. <laughs> I saw a little girl using math to put toys together. And she was just fantastic. I was like, look, I'm a softie. I got three girls. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I like the idea of it. I like the concept of it, but it wasn't, wasn't my thing. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Cool. Do we do math in the head. The math makes happy magic, whatever. But yeah, <laughs> right. I can't. So I can't do it. I can't endure it. I'm more of a nightmare before Christmas type of dude. That's my type of. That's my. That's my style of movie. And I'm just not a big. I'm not. I've never been a big Forrest Whitaker fan either. Mm. I don't know if that's like if I'm tripping, but everything I've seen him in is just not the greatest. So. When I saw him in here, I was like, well, that makes sense. No wonder I hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach, thanks a lot for tuning in, man. It will be up on stream tomorrow. It will be up after the show. Um, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube and on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, what, what are you going to go watch? Let us know. Hey, that's fine, man. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I like the toys. Uh, Key, I don't know if that's Key or Peel. I get them mixed up. His little evil ass was hilarious to me. Uh, yeah. The little matador, I like that toy design. Uh, but I, I, I get it. I get it. I'll be the only one. I, I'll stick, look. I'll be Antoine Fisher here. I'm still, <laughs> still here. I'm still here. I don't hate it. It wasn't my favorite. <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. This is junkie. I'm for it. It wasn't what, my favorite. What was the worst part of it for you, I think? <laughs> All of it. All of it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the worst part was. As soon as the camera panned, and I saw Forrest Whitaker, I was like, "I'm done." <laughs> no wonder. I promise you, everything that he—well, no, that's a lot. Black Panther. Black Panther is the only exception I'll give him. But almost everything he's in, I just absolutely hate. When the movie started, I was like, "Okay, this is dope." You know what I'm saying? I I'm enjoying it. I'm and then the more just kept progressing. I was just like, "This is getting a little cringy." Just kept going. I was just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. And then I saw Ford Forrest Whitaker and I was like, yep, that takes the cake. The one thing I did not get is so Claire's telling the story. Again, if you watch anything that I'm on, you know I'm terrible with names. But uh Claire's telling the story to her grandkids. So you never ever told your grandkids that y'all was multi-millionaire toy makers. <laughs> like, yeah. You just unveiled that shit like eight years later on Christmas. <laughs> At the end, when they opened the window and they're like, "Did they never ever wonder who factory that was?" Right. That's. <laughs> and make a fly. What? <laughs> that was my only problem with the film. Like, how you gonna hold on to the family? That's not a family secret. You hide, Claire Huxtable. You you let the kids know about black excellence in the neighborhood. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I I, I had a blast. I, I think uh this is a great season premiere for us. I want to thank everybody that tuned in. This was just awesome. Uh welcome uh completely to the show. Inevitably dope, aka ID. Christina and the highlights in the building, they are popping. Uh we've had a great time today, but we gotta go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, Tessa and Dakota holding us down in the background. I think they did an excellent job for the first week, and we got more to come. Man, they killed it! They killed it! They killed it! Uh, so the show goes on Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, all the time. Um, ID, where can they find you at? You know, you got the Twitch, you got the TikTok, you got the Instagram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can find me on YouTube at inevitably. Dope. You can find me on Twitch at inevitably underscore dope. Instagram is the same thing. Inevitably underscore dope. Twitch is the same thing. Inevitably underscore dope. And of course, my twi my TikTok, inevitably dope too. I don't know why. Someone stole my name on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm too. I was highly upset. And then I checked the original guy. He's got like three followers. I was like, bro, give me my name. Yeah, can I buy my best? Like here, right? Come on, man.
man. I'm over here at like 230 some thousand followers on TikTok. You got three. Give me my name, bro. Yeah, take that back. Hey, look, we are going to uh, probably next week or in the next couple weeks, we're going to unveil uh, the ID t-shirts. Uh, but he needs a thousand followers on Twitch. So go get at him. He's got what? Uh, 977, you said? Yeah, like 977. Yep. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, let's, let's let's unlock that gold form so you guys can see these shirts. Uh, if you have seen them, guys, my show chat and draw. I promise you, Mike's chat and draw. You, some of you in the chat have seen it. This guy is an animal with the pen and pencil, man. This guy is a dog at what he does. If you guys have seen his artwork, man, I don't I don't need to say much more, but this guy is an animal at what he does, man. So make sure you guys go check him out. And he's working with the merch for me. So you know it's gonna be exquisite, you know? Yeah, we just worked out the third shirt design, so we're gonna bang that out here in a couple of days to get oh, that yeah. for you guys. Uh you can give me a follow at because I've, I've just learned this thing called branding. So you can give me a follow at <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, TikTok, yeah. and Twitch. Uh most of art on all of those. We gotta get yeah, we gotta get those made for you, ID, so we can make it simple and easy. For sure. Sure. Where can everybody find you at? Uh, you can find me at Fantastic on Instagram and Christy Fawn everywhere else. Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. Awesome, awesome. All right, everybody. Next Friday, 9 p.m., mark your calendars, get it plugged in, and we're going to be back with another amazing episode of Agents of Nerdy. And for the first time ever in any of the shows that I've been a part of, we have an official outro. Good night, everybody. Ooh.